right now. President Trump's campaign says it will file a lawsuit to stop counting votes in Michigan. We have a copy right here in our newsroom. Heather Catalo yeah. is also outside TCF Center in downtown Detroit with more on this. Heather. Yes, they have filed that lawsuit, and essentially they're saying that a Republican challenger up in Ross Common County says he was denied access to the counting area, and that's basically what the Republican challengers are saying is happening here at TCF. Ballot challengers lining up outside TCF Center in downtown Detroit upset that they can't get inside to watch the votes being tallied. Detroit police telling us the election counting area is at capacity. Inside, officers had to escort one man out of the building. Some Republican challengers claimed they were not being allowed to replace other GOP workers who left for lunch. There are GOP people in there still, like I said, I'm not saying there's nobody in there from our side, but what I'm saying is as they're coming out, they're not allowing us to replace them. Because Wayne County has more than 1,100 precincts, the most in the state, the vote historically takes longer here. Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson assured voters every vote will be counted and the process will be bipartisan. What's been happening here on the ground in Michigan, all throughout the state, are bipartisan groups of election workers tabulating those ballots effectively, methodically, and securely. Now, according to the lawsuit, the Trump campaign wants Benson to stop counting any ballots from those absentee drop boxes if their challengers are not allowed to see the video of the transport of those boxes. That lawsuit was just filed. We're still waiting to get responses from the state. But Secretary Benson saying, listen, this process is legal and she is confident they will be able to defend all of it. Reporting live at TCF Center in downtown Detroit, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. All right, Heather, so much, so many moving pieces in that one out there. Hopefully it stays peaceful. Thank you.